Here are the head coach of the Cavaliers, Dane Dameron. Coach, uh, the long awaits over. Football season begins Thursday, and uh, your school is one of the teams that get to kick it off on opening night. Uh, I know you've been doing this a while from a player to a coach. You still get butterflies when, when the season opens? Oh, absolutely. You know, this is a, an exciting time of year. Everybody's, everybody's tired of being in camp and going against each other. Now you get, to go ch- get a chance to go play another team. And nobody knows how good they are right now. That's, the, you know, that's kind of fun unknown. I guess uh, a big concern at every level of football is health coming out of camp. Uh, how healthy is your team going into this season opener? We're healthy. You know, we've got some nicks and bruises, but we're, uh, you know, we think we've got a little bit more depth to compensate for those guys that, you know, that are a little banged up. So we'll, we'll be playing a lot of kids on Thursday night. Uh, you mentioned depth. Uh, this is the first year you've really got to get in here and get a full year under your belt with, with recruiting. Talk a little bit about the recruiting and providing some depth to this team. A team that returns 14 starters that went 6-5 and five last year. Yeah, we do. We return some quality kids. But, you know, if, you're, if we want to get this program to where we want to get the program to, we've got to make sure that, you know, that we do have some depth. And we feel like we got more depth on the offensive line. We feel like we got more depth in the defensive backfield where we were really thin last year. So, you know, it's depth on paper. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when you get to play against another opponent. Glenville State, uh, they got a first-year head coach, but it's a guy that was their offensive coordinator for the last six years. Can you take anything away from the game that was here at Carl Smith Stadium last year going into this one? I don't think so. I mean, two new teams. Uh, you know, every, every team has a different identity than the year before. And, you know, Coach Smith, I'm sure he's excited. And, you know, he'll, have, he'll definitely have some butterflies because this is his first game being a head coach, and it'll be an exciting thing for him. You know, we got to make sure that we're on our toes because I'm sure he's going to have a couple tricks up his sleeve. First, first game as a head coach, and he's at home stadium, you know, so we got to be ready for that. But now, what happened last year had nothing to do with this one. Three straight Thursday night games to begin the season. Uh, hit on that a little bit and how preparation for that may alter from a typical Saturday game in terms of when you give kids days off or how you prepare for a Thursday game. No, we'll take our same day off. Our day off is on Tuesday, so we'll take our same day off, and we just practice on Saturday and Sunday. You know, we treat it. We treat it as Saturday. I mean, our Thursday is the Saturday, and just and just work it from there. It kind of gets confusing to the kids a little bit, you know. But it is what it is, and you know that's how the schedule fell. We're excited about it, and uh, you know, let's go play the game. Fans, uh, coaches show is every Tuesday at Moondog Pizza and Wise. It starts at seven o'clock, and of course, you can hear every game on the Wolf ninety two point 